Welcome to Jumbo Technical Company. The different types of things are made and the things are made by Aman B. Hamza. Today I gonna tell you about potassium permanganate and its experiments. And you will know how to make gunpowder with the help of potassium permanganate. So let's start this video. Potassium permanganate formula is KMNO4 as you know about it. It is a crystal form potassium permanganate as you can see. And it is a potassium permanganate powder form as you can see in this video. We have two types of potassium permanganate, crystal form and powder form. You can get potassium permanganate from medical store very easily. It is used like a fungal infection and many other things so that's why you can buy very easily potassium permanganate from medical store we'll make this video in a two parts the potassium permanganate oxidation number is plus seven it is a very strong oxidant substance and the potassium permanganate atomic weight is 55 u so let's start experiment number one and this experiment we need a sugar and potassium permanganate in this experiment we use of crystal form of sugar and crystal form of potassium permanganate as you can see in this video but if you wanna you can also experiment with the powder form of potassium permanganate now we gonna but things are grind it we have made sugar powder as you can see in this video now we are pouring powder sugar on a smooth stone we have taken a small amount sugar powder for the experiment as you can see in this video in this experiment we had taken a limited amount of sugar and potassium permanganate you need to have more potassium permanganate than sugar we also made potassium permanganate powder now we'll mix sugar powder and potassium permanganate powder very well the fire is produced in it while so we will mix it for a long time by mixing sugar powder and potassium permanganate powder its color has changed as you can see to make a fire in it the molecule of potassium permanganate and sugar molecule must be very well attached to each other now fire has been produced from in it as you can see in this video due to the presence of magnesium in this substance there is so much light in its fire because magnesium metal is burnt its light is very strong you must have seen this experiment in many videos now i will show you something new so now we gonna make gunpowder or rocket fuel with the help of sugar powder and potassium permanganate powder. You can also use it like a rocket fuel and together you can make mini cracker bombs. In this experiment also you have to keep more quantity of potassium permanganate. We use of powder from potassium permanganate in this experiment. But if you wanna so you can also use crystal from potassium permanganate. These two substances have to be mixed in a such way that the molecules of both are joined together comfortably. The sugar formula is C12H22O11 as you know about it. Now we have mixed it well as you can see in this video. Now we gonna to burn it with the help of magic stick. As you can see it catch a fire very quickly. You can easily see the process of sugar and potassium permanganate in the form of equation. Now we gonna experiment number 3. So in this experiment we need a potassium permanganate powder. But if you wanna you can also use crystal potassium permanganate. But you have to make the crystal in powder form. In this experiment we are using glycerol also known as a glycerin. Glycerin is used to make a skin smooth and to cure mouth ulcers. We put a drop of glycerin on top of the potassium permanganate powder. The glycerin chemical formula is C3H8O3. Now smoke and fire has started coming out of it. As you can see potassium permanganate powder doesn't burn completely. You can see the simple chemical equation of glycerin and KMNO4 powder on the screen. There is a fire here only the area where a drop of glycerin was dropped. The rest of the part is still not a fire as you can see. Now will tell you how to set a fire completely in a potassium permanganate powder. You have to mix a small amount of sugar in potassium permanganate powder. If you increase the amount of sugar powder inside the potassium permanganate powder then it not will catch a fire. The molecule of potassium permanganate powder and the sugar powder molecule should be a well connected to each other. So we are mixing the two very well. You will need to give us some time to mix these two ingredients well. Now these two things are mixed very well with each other. Now we will put a small amount of potassium permanganate powder on this mixture as you can see in this video. If we mix the sugar powder with potassium permanganate powder very well, it works very easily whenever you make a rocket fuel. And its second best thing is that you don't need to set a fire it from outside. Now we put a drop of glycerin on it. After adding glycerin on the mixture you will have to wait a few seconds. During this the molecule of glycerin and the molecules of the mixture are processing among themselves. As you can see there has been a completely fire in it and it has also become a completely ash. Now we gonna experiment number 4. Now we'll experiment with ashes found during this experiment. 
it is a sugar powder and potassium permanganate powder ash as you can see in this video when we put this ashes in a water the water immediately turned purple it's look quite a beautiful as you can see in this video so how did this water change color now this is a question so the answer is actually this color change in water due to potassium permanganate there is no sugar role in it because of the collision of water molecules when the kmn of our crystal are introduced in the water the water molecules collide with the surface of the crystal and thus the water becomes a colored now we gonna experiment chloroform with potassium permanganate the chloroform chemical formula is chcl3 and the chloroform iupac name is trichloromethane now we gonna pour in potassium permanganate in the chloroform in chloroform consists of three chlorine molecule and one methyl molecule and all these molecule are connected by single bond because of the single bond in the chloroform it is a substance of alkane group kmno4 doesn't react with alkane group as you can see color has changed due to the slight fraction of polarity in a chloroform there has been change in its color but after a while this color will be gone in just 20 minutes its color started coming off after 2 hours the entire color of chloroform has become the same of before as you can see in this video see you soon in a part 2 and thanks for watching this video